Hi guys, this is the nails I'll be doing today. Um, if you like them, please stay tuned. If you don't, then maybe you want to tune out. But I wanted to really quickly, I, I filmed the video like I always do from nothing on my nails to finishing it up. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about design now that I'm done. I used nail forms, meaning those stickers that you see, like at Sally's in different places, um, to form the nails, which was um, not as difficult as I imagined it was going to be. I was a little bit scared to do them, and you'll see that in the video I talk through the whole thing, because this is the first time I've used them on my nails. Um, just a couple things I wanted to mention. Um, <clears throat> when you're using the forms, for me, I went to the fourth line from the top to measure how long I was going to do each nail, and I did all the nails that way, okay? They're all from the fourth line. And it's not going to be like, oh, well, th they are the same length, pretty much, if you look at them all together. But they look different because um, of the C-curve, right? When you put on your nail, and the way you have to pinch the form for it to work, the nail is going to be either a little thinner, a little wider, you know, so they all look appropriate for that nail, which is what you want. Um, so just so you know, just a note, because I didn't mention that when I was doing the actual nail, so I went to the fourth line from the tip. I do mention the fourth line, but when I did my thumb, I didn't keep letting you guys know that, oh, I'm going to do that for all of them. Um, also, um, there's a couple other things. I, you know, I should have planned this out ahead of time. I just kind of went with what I felt like doing. If I would have planned it out better, um, you see I have some little flowers, and maybe you can't see them, but... If I would have thought about it more, I probably should have used the lavender color in the flower instead of the dark purple because it, like it, it made it kind of melt in. So I would use the lavender, it probably would have popped a little more. I still like them because it's, I think it's a cute detail that, oh, 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 look, it has a little something. So that's fine. Um, one other thing is, when you do your nails and these, I wouldn't call them baby stiletto because I think if I wanted to make them sharper then it would have been a baby stiletto. They're still almond shaped nail. They look totally different on me than they do on other people and I love when people have like a little, uh, nail bed and then their little nails are kind of cute and round and things. I have very long nail beds so my nails are never going to look at it. They're always going to look super long. This tip isn't even that long but it's just that my nail beds are so long that the nail is going to be long and thin. That's just how they are. So on me that's how they look. They might look different on you. Yours might come out a little bit rounder, a little bit wider uh, depending on your, your nail bed. So mine aren't that wide and they're very long so they're always going to be long and thin and that's just how my nails look. So in you do yours, they might come out different. Everybody has their own style, their own rhythm, their own method. And um, hope you guys stay tuned and see how I did these. Okay, so I'm finally do my nails today. It's been a while. Um, hoping to do a almond shape set. Um, just real quick, I want to show you the colors I'll be using. Are by Super Nail. I'll be using Glittering Sari, which comes in a large kit, and I don't remember which one, but it's kind of a purple, but it has a little bit of um, of a sparkle in it. Really, really fine. And then I'm going to be using this mix that I got a while back from Into Nail Art. And I'm not sure, I think she changed her channel name. But it's called Grape Jelly and I just thought it was so cute. I was looking for something purple and I swear I opened my drawer with all my mixes that, you know, come in from the swaps and it was just right on top. So I thought, oh sweet, I'll use this. And she has stars and hearts and chunky glitters, square glitters, round glitters, all in different colors of purple and iridescent things and really cute. So there should be a teaspoon, I'm not sure because I think this one was a um, was a gift. Sometimes when people add it, you know, send a little gift, it might not be a teaspoon. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and mix this and then I'll get my nails prepped. Okay, obviously you see I have polish on my nails. So I have this little jar, a little um, disposable cup. I get these at Costco. Um, actually, I think the ones from Costco are the clear ones. But they sell them at Target now, I've seen. They have them in cute colors and they're like three bucks for like 50 of them or something like that. But I'm going to measure this and hopefully there's a teaspoon in here. Yeah, it's just about a teaspoon. And I might have used this before, so maybe that's why I have a little bit less than I need. So let me just shake the whole thing. I like to get everything out. And as you guys know, since I'm starting to swap again, I love using mixes that I get in swaps. Because that's what they're for. Okay, so there's a teaspoon there. And then I'm trying to clean this off as much as I can. I'm going to add a teaspoon of um, acrylic powder. I'm going to be using Nail Light um, acrylic powder. That one says regular. I probably should have gotten my Omega, but oh well. So I have my regular acrylic powder. I'm going to use two half a teaspoons. So make a teaspoon. I just didn't want to stick that glitter into my acrylic. And that's it. So I'm just going to mix this up. And that's going to be the mix that I'm going to use on every other nail. So I'm going to use some nail purple and some with the purple mix. And I'll be adding some other fun things to that. Okay, so there it is. That's the... Mix I'll be using. Very pretty. Thank you, Into Nail Art, for the mix. 
Um, so let's get started. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my nail let's polish off. My polish um, as best I could. And I always use acetone, but um, if you just have regular polish, um, you should probably use regular polish remover just to not expose yourself to so much acetone. I just like that better. But anyhow, so I'm gonna take this cuticle pusher. I always get this, or I buy them at um, Sally's. I mean, they are d indestructible, but I still buy them whenever they're on sale because I like them a lot. So what I'm gonna do is push back my cuticles very gently. I used to trim them. I don't do that anymore, but I hate my cuticles. Like I wish I could. I just I understand it's not that good for you, so I just don't do that anymore. But you push them back very gently. And how I do this is I take the other side, and I just remove whatever I can find if there's some little dead skin on there. And I do this anyway in between manicures, so I really don't have that much built up. But if you're starting to do nails, you might have quite a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape that off all around the nail. And then I'm gonna take the 180 side or 220 grit. 220 is like a buffer, um, just to take the shine off the nail. And you wanna do it in the direction of the nail growth. Your nail grows out this way. You wanna just go up and down to take the shine off the nail. You do not have to completely, you know, shave your nail down. Uh, it seems like a lot of people do that because they always say, oh, you know, my nails are paper thin when I take them off. What's the problem? Uh, this is one of the problems. You don't want to do too much. I barely, and my nails aren't even shining from, well, the new growth is. All this new stuff, the last time I did my nails was up here and it seems to be duller there. Um, but just be mindful of that. Okay, you just want to take the shine off. And I really don't even do the tip very much, but that's just me. Um, I wouldn't say, for everyone to do that because um, <clears throat> you do want to take the, the tip of your nail all the way back, trim them down really short because it just inhibits, if you have it shorter, it inhibits um, you know, fungal growth, something like that. I like to grow my nails out because you guys know I do all these different videos. So I don't, I'm not gonna trim these back, but I definitely would. I would cut back the nail all the way if um, you know I wasn't in interested in growing my nails out. So I'm gonna prep all the nails just the same way. So they're all nasty looking. That's what you want, basically. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, and I should have done this before, is use my antibacterial spray. You can spray all your tools with it. You can just spray your hands. Obviously, I had to wash my hands and everything, but um, I do it afterwards because to me, you're gonna file and buff and pick off all this stuff, so you might as well, um, you know, do that again. And then I'm going to take my dehydrator. People always ask, do you have to dehydrate? You should. You can use just um, acetone or alcohol, alcohol basically to dehydrate. This is Nail Pure Plus. I don't know how where you can get it. This was a gift, but I haven't seen that I can buy it by itself. Um, not being a, a nail tech, but anyway, I'm putting some on this little pad, and I'm just going to wipe away all that dust. I'm not pushing into the nail. I'm pulling it away. Okay, you don't want to just push it into the cuticles. You want to wipe it away. These little wipes <laughs> are not very good. I forgot where I even got them, but you see all this fluff that's coming off of them? Not ideal. Okay. So basically, you want to do this, and for some people, for some reason, it turns super white. For me, it doesn't. As you can see, my nails aren't, like, super white, but when they use the dehydrator, it's, like, really opaque. It doesn't work that way for me, so that's okay. That's just how it is. Okay. Um, so, we're going to start. I am going to use nail forms for the first time, and what I mean by that is these sticker forms. I've never ever used these. I'm afraid to do it, but we're going to try it today, guys. So I have this roll of however many hundred. Um, you know, you can get them at Sally's, you can buy them on eBay, um, Born Pretty Store, all these different places. Basically, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to take, I'm just going to do like two at a time because I'm afraid of these. <laughs> so I'm going to take this off. Open this up. Um, and obviously they have some that are better and some that aren't as good. It's no big deal. Uh, I want to see something real quick. Okay. I'm going to take the back of this guy and put it right in the back where the numbers are. Okay. And that just gives you some more stability. And it actually gives you a little bit extra if you want to make them a little bit longer. But for me, it's just a little more stability. And then you're going to kind of round it out. Let it kind of make it easier. Some people open them up and then put them on. Some people put them on first. I'm just going to open it up first. I've never used these on my real nails. Now, I am putting this under my nail and I am making sure that my nail is flat on the sticker. Like, this is not okay. That's too much of a gap. It needs to be right up in there, okay? Because I have the nails. If I didn't have nails, then you still want your little free edge to be kind of flat, but since I have the nails, I need to make sure that these are the same. I'm trying to look and line these guys up Sorry, it has to be out of frame, but I need to do that for myself. Okay. And then whatever you got extra over here, you just stick it down. Okay. 
Now I am going to make an almond shape, but I just want to make sure this is tucked in real nice. Okay. And I'll just do this first one and then we'll go from there. So I want to do three of the nails with the glitter mix and then the other two with not the glitter mix. So I'm gonna start with my thumb. Okay. Let me get these so, things together. I got that on there. I am so scared guys. So I have my something wonderful primer. You can use your nail primer. And I'm gonna apply two coats. Make sure you get it on the cuticle there. And that's to say you definitely want to trim your nails back, it'll make it easier. I am not you know, I just I'm not gonna do it because I want to grow my nails out. It's going to be even tougher on this other hand because the nails are even longer. But anyhow, so I'm going to do two coats. Generally, I would do all five fingers and then come back and do one finger at a time, but I'm just going to do right now on this one hand. I have a Pro 8 acrylic brush. This is by Organic Nails. You can use any brush you have. I like the size 8, and that's what I have here. And let me get it started. I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to dip in there. Some people like to push away from them. I pull it towards me, whatever. This thing's opening up, that's not good. Okay. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of the clear acrylic because I'm gonna place some on my nail. And you know what I've noticed recently with this Pro 8 brush is that it does not pick up that much acrylic. I feel like it used to be better. Let me do that again. And maybe it's the shaping, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to get some more clear acrylic. This is um, the regular nail light acrylic, and I'm using um, Omega Monomer. And I'm basically just going to cover up my, my nail because I'm using a mix and I don't want that mix to stain my nail. Okay. Get very close to the cuticle, not touching the cuticle. Sorry, it has to be out of frame for a second. Okay, so all I did was just cover my nail with some acrylic so that it doesn't get stained, okay? That's all I did, no big deal. Just want to make sure this thing is still straight. I am so afraid of using these guys. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up some of my mix. I'm going to move this monomer over, hopefully I don't tip it, drop it. And I'm just going to apply that close as I can to the cuticle. I'll take care of the cuticle area in a minute and I'm just going to use the body of the brush and the belly of the brush to pat it down. I don't want it too thick at the cuticle so I'm just going to get there as close as I can and bring the rest of the mix forward. That's a really pretty mix. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more. I need to make the tip of my nail. And You can also put clear all the way to the tip. I just didn't um, I didn't think it was necessary right now. And basically I'm going to create an almond shaped tip and I'll probably bring it all the way to this one, two, three, the fourth line because my other hand has longer nails on it and I know I'm going to need it. So try to shape it as well as you can knowing that if you miss anything on the sides, it's not going to be there later and it'll be very tough to add. Okay, but I'm trying to make it nice and rounded, almond shaped, if you will, all the way to that fourth line. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of in a V shape. I'm going to let that settle just for a second, okay? okay so I'm going to let that settle for a few seconds and now I'm going to come in, try to get a good sized ball of the clear acrylic. I feel like I work better with the nail light brushes for some reason. And I'm just going to start and I'm going to encapsulate the whole thing. So back towards the cuticle. Pat it out. I need to cover all of that glitter. Okay, I need some more on this other side here. It is interesting. I'm I've never used these before on my own nails, so. It'll be fun. I think I'm going to have a lot of filing to do. That's okay. That's okay for the first time. Okay, so I'm just going to encapsulate the whole nail all the way to the tip and let that dry a bit. Okay, so on this hand I did all of the glitter nails just like I did the thumbnail and it's about time for this to come off. If you want, and in the meantime while it's drying, you can give it a pinch 
with a pinching tool or just with your nail with um, the back of your nails or whatever just pinch them and it makes them a little thinner a little nicer looking I did not do that this time because I wasn't even thinking about that I was just concentrating on everything else um, like this one's pretty this one probably be pinched but I'm not gonna do it now since I didn't do it on the rest of them so I'm gonna wait for these to dry because I want to take these forms off and then we'll do the two purple sorry, nails okay the other two fingers with the glittering sari color which is really pretty. I'm still going to put a little bit of clear, only because I haven't used this before and I don't know if it's going to stay my nails. So I'm still going to get a little bit of that clear acrylic and apply that. And it's kind of soft and runny because that's what I want. I want it to be thin. I don't want a thick coat. It'll just make the nail that much thicker. And I'm sorry, I'm going to be out of frame. I can't see what I'm doing on the other side. I'm just trying to clean up that edge. Okay, so then I'm going to get this. I don't like mixing products, but I'm not going to go to Super Nail to get, you know what I'm saying, go into, get some Super Nail monomer just for this. So I'm going to be using the Omega liquid and the Super Nail product. And get close to the cuticle and I'm bringing it forward to form my nail. I'm kind of painting it on. That's just how I do it. You can do it however you feel most comfortable. This is very pigmented, but at the same time, it looks like the pigmentation takes a minute to to um, do what it's supposed to do. So now I'm just kind of going off of the nail onto the form. This brush is not working for me right now today. It's a little bit lumpy, it's too watery. Well, it's also too because I'm using two different products. And again, I'm gonna extend it to the um, to the same place I had the other one, to the fourth line. And I don't care if it's kind of running around right now because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna fix that. So again, one, two, three, four, down back here. So I went too far. I'm just gonna push it back into shape, keeping the sidewall the same. Pushing it back <laughs> towards the fourth one. You can always file down that extra, but if you can do most of it this way, you might as well do that. This is not working for me today. It's been a while since I've done my nails. It always, it's like getting back on the horse, getting back on the bike, right? You need some work. Sorry, I'm sure this is boring. Okay, and then I'm going to finish a little bit more towards the cuticle. This stuff is drying really fast. If I had known that, I would have paid more attention to the cuticle right away. Okay, and then I'm just going to encapsulate that with clear, just like I did the other nail, okay? And I'm going to do this nail and my ring Too finger. Bad. It's a lot later at night now. I'm almost done. This one's just drying. So what I'm going to do now is take my nail file, of course, with the 100 grit side, the rougher side, you're going to come in. And if your nail at all is stuck to the side of the wall, side of your nail, just Pull that away. Make sure your sidewalls are nice and clean. Come around the edge. You're gonna form your tip of your nail, however you want it. If you want it more, you know, a little sharper, a little rounder, whatever. And then of course you're going to file the top, make it nice and smooth. This took me a while. I've never used this before. It wasn't too bad, but I definitely need more practice. So I'm gonna file the nail, and once it's all in the shape I would like, I'm going to buff it. With my nail buffer and I'll come back at that all done. My son just woke up and he is like yelling out there playing video games so you might hear him in the background. So um, I kind of missed this one. This is the first one I did and I've never done this before but I left a lot of space there when I filed it and everything. So what I'm going to do is cover that up anyway with I was going to put some bows and I'm still going to do that. So I'm going to use the Pure Violet by Diva DC which is this gorgeous purple here. Try to back up a little bit. And then um some white acrylic and this just happens to be NSI acrylic it's not a big deal I just something I picked up really quickly sorry and then here I have half acrylic and half um, uh, uh, well acrylic monomer you know what I'm saying acrylic liquid and half acetone sorry I'm listening to my son over there and he like just throws me off I swear I can't think whenever he's you know 
So I'm going to dip a little bit there. I'm going to get some of the NSI color and I'm going to get some of my purple and let them kind of come together. Hopefully you can see that. It looks really dark on my screen, so I'm sorry, I can't. And I'm just going to place it here. Oh, it does not want to come off. And for some reason it is really stiff. And I just work with it. Whatever happens, I just try to make it work. And that one is not going to work for me, so let me try again. A little of this, and maybe more of the purple. I'm just going to lay that down. There we go. And I'm just going to let that come to consistency, so I'm going to work on the next one as I'm waiting for that. A little bit more white, a little bit more purple. Right there. I'm basically going to make a bow here. I don't know what my son is doing over there. He's going crazy. Usually I would get behind this, but I can't do it because I'm filming for you guys, so I'm going to push it this way. But usually I do it a little bit different than that. <laughs> of course, I guess it took me a long time to do my nails. I started doing them because he was asleep, and now he's fully awake. You know what? I think I'm going to make this... Yeah, that's fine. I was going to say maybe I'll make it into a flower instead, but no, I'll leave it. And I'm going to put two more pieces on this side. Are you guys the same way when your kids are awake you can't think? That's just me. Anyway. I'm not going to wait so long this time. So this time, I'm with the side of my brush. I'm going to push him that way. But I'm just going to leave it so it looks like the other one because I already did that. So there it is. My son, I don't know what he's talking about over there. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little Aurora Borealis stone in the middle. But I'm going to get a little bit of the purple. Just a little purple bead. Just put it right there. I'm going to take one of these little Aurora Borealis. Hopefully you're seeing what I'm doing. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. Okay. And it's kind of like a pseudo bow, butterfly looking weird thing. And I think since I have that there and I'm not sure what else to do, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to put some white dots with some, uh, a dotting tool. But that's that for that one. I'll do the same thing on the other thumbnail. Um, there's a couple other things I wanted to add to these nails and let me get those together so we can continue. On the pointer fingers, I'm just going to add a few, um, rhinestones, um, with a little bit of the acrylic around them, okay? So I'm just going to dab there. Dab into my purple acrylic and add a little dot and put a little rhinestone in the middle there. Okay, I'm just going to do that like a few times here. So on this other uh, finger, I put those little jewels here. I'm going to add, I was going to do some Hello Kitty things, but the colors came out so dark that I don't think Hello Kitty would look cute anymore with these kind of really dark colors. So I'm going to take some of this um, UV gel by Sina or Lena, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to um, use my UV gel brush. You can use a, an orange stick, whatever you like. I'm just going to use my brush because I had it here. I was going to do my toenails next or in a few days here. So I had things ready to go. And I'm going to place some of the UV gel. It's very thick, as you can see, which is what you want. Or you can just use your um, acrylic, either one. And if I thought about it, I would have brought out a tweezer. But I have these little hearts from Born Pretty Store that I've had for a minute. I've been wanting to try out. So I'm just going to apply one right there. And you can face it to face you, to face out, however you like. I'm going to put that there for right now and I'm going to cure it under the UV lamp for about two and a half to three so minutes. That's all on. And I'm just kind of making this up as I go along, guys. Sorry if it's frustrating anybody, but I'm going to add some little flowers and I'm going to do the same thing on the middle finger and the um, the pinky, okay? So I'm just going to dip into my monomer again with, it has a little bit of um, acetone, right? Half and half. And then get some of that. And I'm going to place that one there. And I'm going to try and make a flower and hopefully this stuff, because like, it was drying really fast. I'm just going to go right into it. I'm going to open this up. That one up. And it's up to you what you want to do, obviously. I'm going to make one similar to the little flower I made the other day on that last nail I did. Um, that multicolored nail. And it's hard to see and I'm sorry it's getting late. Maybe 
maybe you can't see it. I mean, for me, I feel like I can't see it very good in the camera there. But I'm just gonna do like a little three petal thing here. I think I need a new nail art brush. This one is starting to not comply anymore. <laughs> so I'm just doing one more little petal. Just the same, like right here. And then in the middle I'm gonna put a little drop of purple acrylic and then add another stone just so it kind of brings these stones in with the rest of the design, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing to the pinky nail, probably in a different area, but it'll be exactly the same kind of flower, okay? This is totally different than what I started out thinking what I was gonna do, so this is very interesting. All right, and then just like I said, put a little purple dot here of the acrylic and put a stone I'm in sorry. there. Sorry, oh gosh, this is taking me forever. Um, you know, the nails weren't that hard to do, especially the regular colors. It's just the, um, since I've never used them before anyway, and then also using the um, glitter mix was a little bit more difficult, but they turned out pretty good. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna use some acrylic um, colors here. I have a par dark purple and a white, and it would be really cute to just do some painting like I do, like one stroke art or anything like that, but I think my nails are pretty much done. So I'm just gonna take some of this white and a dotting tool. I do have these in my store, dotting tools. And I'm just going to add some dots randomly here and there. Um, yeah, why not? Just to add a little something else to the design. Okay, and then um, with the purple one, I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna dip into the purple. And over here where I have the little um, white heart, I'm just going to kind of, oh, it's not very deep. I'm gonna go around the little heart a little bit and just kind of out that way kind of contours the heart and does something at least it brings some of that dark purple into that design okay so I'm gonna do that I might add some white dots with these other um, nails and some purple ones on this other one okay I'm adding just a little bit of uh, decoration here and there I didn't do anything to these two because I figured they already have the dots then I don't know so that's it so all I'm gonna do is take my top coat I use IB intense seal you can use whatever top coat you like if you don't have a UV lamp because this has to cure on UV you can use your regular top coat which I love sesh feet uh, a lot of people like axiom I think that's by who I forgot either Orly or OPI um, and it's a really good top coat for natural well not for naturals for um, to dry naturally instead of using the UV lamp Unfortunately, like I said, I messed this nail up. I got too um, far away from the cuticle, but that's okay. I haven't done nails in a long time, and you know, like I said, it takes practice. So I'm going to put a little bit of um, UV on the little bow. Not too much. And I'm going to go ahead and um, you know do the rest of the nails. Make sure you encapsulate it really well around the tips and everything. And I'm going to cure these for one minute. And I'll have some pictures for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye now.